good afternoon and welcome um, back to our, our Esprit online sign language tutorial. Okay, tutorial means like teach from my head to your head. Teach, and if you're learning, it comes into your head. So it's like learn and teach, teach and learn. It's the same with remember. So remember and goes into your head remember and then forget is when it's again it's forgot forget remember teach and learn so it's all about the direction it's the same sign but just a different sort of direction and placement it's really important in sign language to remember the direction okay because i am i'm teaching or i'm teaching everybody teaching you all so I'm all going around everyone I'm just teaching one person it's teach learn teach and you're all learning it's sort of like when I'm telling if I'm telling telling everyone or if I'm just telling you so you've got to think of the play so if it's a whole class you tell everyone so you know how my hands go out to everyone if it's one person you tell them or two you tell two people okay so you really have to think it's very important part of sign language is of the direction and the placement of who that you're talking to okay and is it about you if I'm talking you know backwards and forwards if I'm talking to everybody that's talking it's like two people like that and I just talk 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 and see I'm talking to everybody if I'm talking to one person it's Okay, so it's just an important thing about sign language is to remember the direction and the placement of who you're talking to. Same sign, lots of the time, just different direction and different placement. If you're telling me, you, you're telling me, I'm telling you, or sometimes you go, I'm telling, it's like I'm giving you all this information from my brain to you. If I'm giving all this information to everybody, I go tell everybody from my brain to everybody. Okay, so it's just important. It's it's an important thing to remember in sign language. Now today we're going to hopefully I'll do ten minutes, maybe a bit actually probably a bit more because I can't, I haven't been doing it every week. I need to do some catch up. See that's so catch up like that one catch up it's like I'm, my hand is chasing I'm catching up some catch up work some work so we're going to do first we're going to do um, a bit about welcome and when you meet a deaf person what do you say um, second we might do some animal some flip through we do animals like that or animals um, and then maybe I would like to do a little bit of visual phonics that we use at Eastbury um, School and we, with deaf children, but it's very helpful for lots of um, children and especially those who don't speak English. Okay, if they don't, if they don't speak English, um, this is really helpful, especially in the early, early years. Okay, so first. When you meet a deaf person, the first thing you say, hello. Some people go goodbye like that, or they say goodbye. It really is the lip pattern. Remember, we say lip patterns, really important, really important, important with sign language. So if you went, hello, it's much easier to know. That really doesn't matter. Um, when you meet someone, the first thing, you would say is hello and that's like how are you or all right you know and your body put your hands in your body and your thumbs up are you all right is your body well and they would run with good bad okay you know i'm right, okay or then maybe they're a bit ill and ill is with your little fingers ill you know i was a bit ill a bit ill and you might say where where were you ill was it head was it stomach uh, chest breathing you know a bit ill okay so that's it ill 
and that is also healthy. So how are you is actually the same sign as healthy. Um, and so it's like saying, are you healthy? Healthy and ill. So you would um, ask someone, good, bad, okay. Um, then you might, might say your name, and we've done name before, it's like a salute. Your name, what? And you remember we said we put the, the question at the end. And then you would spell your name, you know, the letters of your name, which we did spelling before, so you should remember now. Um, so you would ask them, what's name what? Or is it, what's your name? Then I would, then you have to... So you have to watch, and if you if you lose it and you miss it, don't worry, it's okay. Lots of people, deaf people included, they miss it. Just go again, and that's again is two fingers, and you just shake it again, please. And it's the same, please and thank you are the same, okay? And it's the lip patterns. Okay, just don't, I wouldn't worry. Please, thank you. Again, do Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's on your heart. You just give it a bit of heart, a bit of a rub. Sorry. Again, please. And can I say, it is not rude to say again, and then go again, and then go again. It's actually rude if you don't understand to just nod and pretend that you understand. That is very rude in the deaf world. Don't do that, okay? If you don't understand, which is the sign over my head, I don't understand. Understand, it's like a light bulb. Understand? If you don't understand, just shake your head. I don't understand. So it's the same sign, but yes, I understand. No, I don't understand. Or you can say, look, it's completely over my head. I have no idea. <laughs> got no idea what you're saying and that's totally acceptable lots of deaf people if you don't understand they really like it if you say I don't understand and then they will try again a different way or they might write it down or you can write it down okay it's very easy to communicate to communicate by writing I write you write I write you write <laughs> a very simple way of communicating okay rather than finger spelling if you just don't understand so you would think spell your name and then you would say my, that's my, and that's me, my. So my name and then you would think spell your name. Okay, so that's sort of the first thing you do. And then, then when they go, or when they leave, you can say goodbye and you would say nice. Now this is the word nice, with it around your chin with your thumb. Nice to meet you. Meet two people, like come together. So it was nice to meet you. Maybe see you again. So see, it's see from your eyes, see you again. Or hope, hope to see you again. And that's pretty much, that's sort of the easy way when you sort of meet a deaf person. Okay, the fairly sort of standard thing that you would say. Okay, second thing we wanted to do was animals. Okay, because lots and lots of children's books and songs, um, songs that's singing with your two fingers like you're going out and around like la 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 la, singing has animals. And later I'm going to be doing some songs with animals so I can teach you some that you can practice with yourself or your children. So animals, we'll do farm. Okay, farm is like with your thumb up and it's like a big, I think it's like the, you know, when they used to have the, the farmer's thing, it's farm, it's just farm around to your stomach. Okay, well, I think of the big belly, big belly of a farmer. Farm, some farm animals. Okay, so we've got pig with your hand and it's like the, the nose and you just go around. Pig, um, cow, like it's like the horns of a cow. Um, chicken, it's the same as bird, okay, but it's a different pattern. You can sort of see that there's a difference, chicken, or some people do chicken, you know, chicken, or if they're, if they're little, if they're younger, they might do chicken, but it's fine, and then you would change it to chicken. 
um, chicken. Horse is like uh, two hands, like you're riding a horse. Horse. Sheep. Get your two little and, and you do the curls of a sheep. 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 Uh, dog is the two hands. There it is. Dog. Dog. You would have cat is like cat. I do kitten like a baby cat. I do two kitten and cat. But that's me. Uh, that's me. I just think it, it's a little bit clearer for children to understand. Dog. And if it's a puppy, you could do puppy or a baby dog or a baby cat. Um, it's like piglet is like a baby pig. Calf is like just a baby cow. Okay. There isn't a real sign for calf. It's just that you put baby before it. Um, and, and lamb is a baby sheep. Um, you just go lamb. So you would use the lip patterns, but you make sure you do the sign baby before lamb. So it's like two signs. And calf. Um, yeah, so a horse. If you're riding a horse, okay, some people do horse like this, like a person sitting on the horse and they ride. And that's riding. So if you were riding a horse or riding a cow or something like that. Okay. Or other farm animals. Or goose. Goose. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking of uh, is some of my, my farm animals. Um, mouse. So it's like a little squeak, squeak. Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. Um, donkey. Donkey, donkey, like the ears of a donkey. Rabbit is toe, rabbit, rabbit. Okay, so you've got a rabbit and a donkey. Um, yeah, so that's sort of most of the, I think that's most of the farm sort of animals. Or if you have, um, oh, turkey, sometimes they have turkey, gobble, gobble, like the little bit that hangs down, turkey. Um... And for, uh, well, I don't think there is a really sign for a rooster, but rooster, sometimes I do that for rooster. But, you know, we don't really, we don't really use that one. So, they are some of your farm animals. Now we might do some wild, and they are, oh, pets as well. Pets, you might do some pets. Like um, a guinea pig, which is the letter G, and then sign pig guinea pig okay you might have a pet snake which is the two like this and you go out like a snake like the tongue snake um what other pets do you what other pets because we did dog we did cat we did puppy it's like a baby dog kitten baby cat um yeah, most of those, I, I think. If you do lizard, I do lizard is, um, see, snake goes like that, and lizard is just like short, like a flick. Lizard, snake. Okay, because some people have, have, might have a pet snake. Oh, fish. Fish is like the hand like this, fish. Fish. And then, um, if we're going to do ocean, we might do whale. There's two. I've seen whale, like the water coming out of their head, whale. But I've also seen this one. It's like the tail of a whale going down. I quite like that. That's the tail of it diving down into the water. Whale. Whale. Dolphin. Dolphin. Goes up and down. Shark. Okay. And it goes up like that. So shark. Also, that's the sign for dangerous, and sharks are dangerous. That, that's, that's how I remember. Dangerous and shark. Sharks go like that, and dolphins go up and down. Fish go side to side, and whales. Okay? If it was a shark, like a hammerhead shark, you would use your hands to describe the, the sort of shape of the animal. So it would be like a hammerhead shark. Okay? That's how you sometimes have to describe, like if it had a spot, if it's a big blue whale, 
okay those sorts of things you would describe it there's not not a word for every single a sign linked to every single animal you have to describe the animal okay so that's sort of some of the ocean then if we say some wild i do i'm thinking wild 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 um i have to re i have to remember that sign there's lots of different sort of wild animals we have elephant with the trunk so elephant um i do lion like this with the mane of the lion some people do lion like that okay but lion so it's quite visual lion tiger with the stripes tiger okay i do bear because that's actually more of a teddy bear because you know, a cuddle but some people bear like they're good bear like that like as a wild bear bear um giraffe like the neck when you extend it up giraffe hippo a hippo is your two hands on top of each other like that and just like that the hippos like the hippo's mouth hippo um crocodile is with the like they're the teeth so you're like crocodile snap snap crocodile and that's hippo so they're different that's crocodile um uh, monkey it's quite simple really and this is gorilla because they beat their chest so gorilla monkey okay if it was a chimpanzee or different types of monkeys you have to describe it okay and you would spell the name but that's the sign for monkey it's the same for chimpanzee when the lip pattern's different chimpanzee um i'm trying to think of some more animals that should be most of them that i can think of zebra is the same as tiger because they both have stripes but it's a different pattern you can sort of see that's a bit different tiger and zebra and you might like to for children you might like to add the colors so you might do black and white to sort of sort of help you describe it and we learnt colors we learnt colors before okay so they i think are most of sort of the african sort of wild animals or oh, i do like kangaroo kangaroo is like kangaroo like jumping kangaroo oh hedgehog i like hedgehog goes like it's like the spines but go backwards hedgehog fox fox wolf they're sort of the same fox and wolf with the lip patterns fox wolf okay and um uh squirrel it's like the tail that comes around squirrel okay so squirrel squirrel so I think that's most of the animals that I can think of. You've got your zoo animals. Oh, penguin is like on the side, you know, like, like you can't really see me, but you put your hands down by your side and you sort of walk like a penguin. A penguin. And the, um, yeah, the, a penguin. And that's most of the animals. Okay, now I know we've got like, eight, it's 18 minutes. So... I might stop there because that's a lot for you to remember but all how to meet a person and all the animals and I'm going to do the visual phonics but separate so I'm going to do another one uh, so you can so you can learn that so I don't want to overwhelm you know you see that how it's like you're falling over you I don't want to overwhelm you okay so practice all your animals practice when you meet a person and I'll do some visual phonics next time. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. And I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.